Well, it's Cookie and Buddy, it's Dor, and I'm back for yet another No Man's Sky video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit burned out with the game. After update 4.0, basically rendered my most watched videos useless. But now I'm back for something very excited, and that's the Redux version of the seventh expedition in No Man's Sky, Leviathan. This was the only expedition I've missed as I was busy moving houses at the time, so I'm really excited for this. But enough with the chit chat, let's get straight into phase one. <laughs> So to start the expedition, you will have to select play a game from the main menu and then select an empty save file. Go to the community expedition and you'll see here that the seventh expedition Leviathan is now running and it will remain for two weeks up until the 5th of January. So just select it and the game should load up. So after you've woken up, the very first thing I would like to do and especially on this expedition as it is on survival mode is to go to the options. Select the network options and make sure that allow PvP is set to no one as this will disable PvP. Of course you can tinker around with some of the other settings as well to your choosing. So once that's done, I do like to have a look at the expedition phases and what we'll have to do to complete each one of them. So you might notice straight away that for the first phase you will have to die for one of the milestones. Now I would like to do this straight away as now we just started and we don't have any resources yet. If you find anything nearby that will give you damage, make sure to stand by it and until you die. Of course you could also try to jump from great heights as well to achieve this. So of course once you have died you will re-enter the loop. Make sure to select your save file once again. And once you've loaded back in the game, the iterate slash repeat milestone will be completed. And claiming this will reward you with the hermetic seal plans, the base computer plans and two memory fragments. Of course now, make sure to walk around and collect some materials that's needed for your survival and basic systems. Go back to the expedition tab and select the remembrance milestone, which will require you to absorb a memory fragment. You will find this in your inventory. Make sure to hover above it and to select absorb memory. This will give you a protection module. Of course, once again, make sure to install this. Place it in your technology slots and have it touch your hazard protection for an adjacency bonus. Your remembrance milestone will also be completed. And claiming this milestone in the expedition tab will reward you with another memory fragment. Of course you can hover above that and then absorb the memory. This will give you an update for your multi-tool. Hover above it and select install. Install it onto your multi-tool. And of course if you want you can put it in your supercharged slot. The next thing I always like to do is to install the terrain manipulator onto the multi-tool. In this expedition you already have it installed though it is damaged. So you'll need a carbon nanotube and some dihydrogen jelly in order to be able to fix it. So look around you for items that contain carbon and start to mine them. And look around you for some dehydrogen fields and make sure to mine those as well. So once you have 40 dihydrogen make sure to craft some dehydrogen jelly. And once you have 50 carbon, make sure to also construct a carbon nanotube. Go to your, go to your multi-tool, select the terrain manipulator and install the dehydrogen jelly and the carbon nanotube in order to repair it. Now you're able to use the terrain manipulator and dig some holes in order to ensure your survival. As you can shelter inside for storms or wait until your shields has recharged from the toxicity levels on this planet. Next up, select the new beginning milestone, which will require you to locate your starship. For this, make sure to use your analysis visor and look around the world until you see the icon for your starship. Once it's highlighted, make sure to make your way over there. But once you have reached your ship, the new beginning milestone will be completed. Open up the expeditions tab to be able to collect the rewards for a new beginning milestone which are 5 life support gels, 8 ion batteries, 2 starship launch fuels and 3 memory fragments for your exosuit. Open up your inventory and hover above the memory segments and select to absorb the memory. And of course make sure to install the items you'll receive and to have them touch each other for JC bonuses. So next up select the observing the cycle milestone which will require you to repair your starship. If you open up your inventory, you'll see that the launch thruster is damaged, which will require pure ferrite and a dehydrogen jelly. Your pulse engine is also damaged, which will require a metal plating and a hermetic seal in order to fix. 
Make sure to find some stones laying around to collect some ferrite dust. And of course always make sure to scan them to unlock their second item as well. Harvest all the dihydrogen you can. Should be some items scattered around which will give you condensed carbon. So you should have no effort in collecting some. If you have 30 of it you can construct the hermetic seal. Also create the dihydrogen jelly. And make sure to add the hermetic seal to the pulse engine and the dehydrogen jelly to the large thruster. So now we will only need a metal plating and some pure ferrite. So make sure to collect enough ferrite dust. Once you have enough ferrite dust, make sure to construct the metal plating and use that to fully repair the pulse engine. So now we will only need some pure ferrite. Make sure to place down your portable refiner. Add some carbon to the fuel and then add your ferrite dust to the input to create some pure ferrite. Once it's done, make sure to retrieve the pure ferrite. And of course, don't forget to pick up your portable refiner. Add back to your starship and use the pure ferrite to fully construct the land thruster. And take off. Fly up into space. And now the task will require you to report a strange starship signal to Specialist Polo. So make sure to open up the quick menu and summon the Space Anomaly. Interact with Specialist Polo. And then you can select to ask about the loop. And then select to remember. It will now require you to hand in different materials, which we do not have right now. So just say you'll be back. And after doing so, the observing the cycle milestone will be completed. Make sure to head into the expeditions tab to collect the reward, which is a two memory fragments for your inventory and 225 solium and the solar ray plants. Open up your inventory and hover above the memory fragments and select to absorb the memory. This will upgrade your exosuit. It's five slots in total, so it's quite a lot. Now, of course, make sure to also absorb the second memory you've gotten. And this will apply a few multiple expansion slots, so just upgrade it as far as you'd like. To complete the bounce testing milestone, make sure to head into your log and select one of the loop research site missions. For example, the loop research Liquid Sun, which will require you to install the solar ray. Hover above an empty slot in your multi tool and install the solar ray. This will require 50 cobalt and 50 magnetized ferrite. If you do not have the magnetized ferrite, you will need to craft some. Head back towards your starship, and I would recommend to fly towards the planet Adai as it has magnetized ferrite. Of course, you can also gather some ferrite, refine it into pure ferrite, and then refine it again to create some magnetized ferrite. Once you have landed on the isotopic planet Eddy, make sure to get out your starship and go around to either harvest some ferrite dust or use your analysis visor to look around for a magnetized ferrite deposit. If you found one, make sure to highlight it and to go there. Once there, you can use your terrain manipulator to harvest the magnetized ferrite. And once you have 50 magnetized ferrites, you can of course install it to conclude the installation of the solar ray. Once you have, you will be tasked with gathering 250 liquid sun. So make sure to open up the analysis visor once more and look for any deposit. Once you've reached the deposit, make sure to select the solar ray and then harvest it. Do this until you have at least 250 liquid sun. Once you've collected the liquid sun, head back towards your starship. As soon as you can, you want to summon the anomaly again. Walk up to Polo, interact with him and then choose to deliver the material that's 250 liquid sun. Doing so will unlock the bounce testing milestone. And claiming this will reward you with a pre-packed hyperdrive unit, a memory fragment for your starship and an emergency signal scanner. Open up your inventory and hover above the memory fragment for your starship and of course make sure to install it. And then install the hyperdrive unit you received. Now if you want you can of course head into the log and also complete some of the other research quests. Make sure to select them and then it will be explained right here what you'll have to do in order to complete them. It's mostly gathering materials in a certain way, heading into Polo and then handing them in. 
doing this will increase the overall process in this bar right here and this will reward us with these optional milestones i really hope we will achieve these optional milestones itself as it will reward us with more memory fragments but it will also upgrade the memory fragments to a higher class for every player playing this expedition so the first optional milestone will upgrade all the memory fragments to a B class and the second milestone will upgrade everything to an A class and so on and so forth. So we should all combine our efforts and complete as much of these tasks as possible in order to make it easier for ourselves. But of course, as these are optional milestones, they are not needed to complete the first phase of this expedition. And so make sure if you want to continue to select the anchor point one milestone, which will require us to reach the first anchor point. Head back to your starship and exit the anomaly. Now before warping to another system, I would advise to first visit the space station in this system. Make sure to fly in and land your starship and to get out of it. This will allow you to revisit this space station and the system later via teleporter. If you have some valuables to sell, you can of course also interact with the galactic trade terminal and do so. And you can walk up to the other side of the space station and towards the exosuit upgrade to be able to purchase another slot for your exosuit inventory. You can also do this at the anomaly and in every system you visit. So that's two slots in total per system. So make sure to take advantage of that as well. Head back towards your ship and fly out. Charge your hyperdrive with warp cells we received earlier. Make sure that the anchor point one milestone is selected and open up the galaxy map. You will want to follow the expedition route. My first warp being into the powder rack system. And once again, before warping onward, make sure to visit the space station so you can always revisit this system if you want. And of course, should you have the funds, also make sure to expand your exosuit inventory even further. Once you're done, get back into your ship and open up the galaxy map once more. Follow the route, my second warp being into the Losely 1 system. And my third warp is into the target system, Dejanayov. So once you're there and you have visited the space station, make sure to look for this icon on the HUD and then to pulse there. Make sure to land your starship in the approximate location and get out of it. You'll see target sweep functionality on the analysis visor to home in on the exact location and make your way there. Check back regularly to see that you're still going into the right direction. And once you're close by, the signal should be finalizing on the exact location. And when you reach it, the anchor point one milestone will be completed. And collecting the rewards for this milestone will reward you with the memory resonator plans, three memory fragments for your inventory, and two memory fragments for your exosuit. As always, make sure to hover above the memory fragments and install them right away. And for the final milestone of the first phase of this expedition, Wake the Pass, you will need to construct the memory resonator we have just unlocked. Open an empty slot in your inventory, hover above the memory resonator, and then you can pin the formula. In order to install it, we will need to gather some ancestral memories, gather or refine some gold, and refine some chromatic metal. I would advise to summon your starship, get in and take off of this planet. You will want to locate the bountiful planet Kuverlas Joha and fly there. Make sure to land on the planet, get out of your starship and then collect some carbon. Use the carbon to craft some creature pellets and then walk up to some fauna and feed them with the creature pellets. Once you have, interact with them and select to harvest the ancestral memories. So once you have 60, it's on to the next one. For the chromatic metal, you want to use your analysis visor and find a copper deposit. Make sure to highlight it and to go there. And once there, use your terrain manipulator to extract the copper. Once you have some copper, place down your portable refiner. And then fill it up with the copper. Start the process to refine it into some chromatic metal. Once your portable refiner is done, make sure to extract the chromatic metal. And of course, be sure to pick up your portable refiner before getting into your starship and taking off. So there are multiple ways to collecting gold in No Man's Sky. You could visit the planet Yilis 4 which has gold on site. Or you can fly into an asteroid field and shoot until you have the 40 gold needed. Either way, once you have collected the 40 gold, open up your inventory and then craft the memory resonator. Hover above it and select the manifest loop memory. For me it said that the loop is too weak and that I will need to reach the planet NCAPT B35. Head into your starship, take off, locate the planet and make sure the pulse there. 
Land on the target planet. Get out. Open your inventory. Once again, hoover above the memory resonator and select manifest loop memory. It will mark a nearby loop pattern on your HUD. Get back into your ship and go there. Land at the approximate location. And once again, use the target sweep functionality to home in on the exact location and move into that direction. Once you reach it, you should see a grave from an unknown entity. Make sure to interact with it. Select to claim the memory. And after doing so, some biological horrors will appear. Try to kill as many. And after doing so, the wake to pass milestone will be completed. And claiming this milestone will reward you with the memory imprint 1, 3 memory fragments and 250 chromatic metal. Make sure to open up the expedition step once more and to claim the iteration 1 milestone. Which is rewarded for completing the entire first phase and will reward you with the Leviathan poster plans, the loop poster plans and the time splice poster plan. And that was all for this video on the first phase of the Leviathan expedition in No Man's Sky. It seems to be quite an interesting and a hard expedition as well. Completing this phase took me longer than any other phase in every other expedition so far. And I'm really looking forward to see what the rest of this expedition will bring. Now I'll log off really quick before I'll die, but I hope to see you in the next one.